after effects is that, see, the, the camera needs to stabilize. You know, most of the time when you walk and shoot, the camera shakes a bit and there's a lot of shake. So, what we have done is, instead of going and using, we had stabilizer tools before, and it was a lot more difficult to use because you need to give four point tracking and you need to track the entire motion, and that just take a lot of time. With a new plugin, which is called the stabilizer, So that's something called a draft stabilizer. You just need to click, drag, and drop this on the clip. Okay? If you look over here, right at this corner, it tells that it's initializing and it is just going through the clip. That means you do not have to do anything. It will automatically go back, look at the clip, and it will automatically stabilize the clip for you. Not only that, uh, over here, if you look at this, it tells you a few other things, like whether you just want to crop after you do the stabilization, that means you'll have the black edges at the sides, or you want to scale to fit the size of the video. It does everything at one go, and it does take a few sec more seconds to finish this up here. 80% need to wait till that gets over. There you go. So it's done, and now if I start playing this, it is stabilized, but you don't see any marks out there. What you can do is you go over here, have a look at this. I just say stabilize only, and if I move this, stabilize and drop. Side edges over here. So if I just make this hundred <coughs> percent, can you see the sides? If I go back and play, you will see it is cropped to that part. And the moment I say don't crop it, just use stabilize only. To see this, you see the entire motion of how it moves. So this is done automatically, and this is quite useful when you look at it. Now the other thing is. Um, when you look at this, uh, we also have something called as camera blur inside After Effects. Uh, so if I say the depth of field, and if I look over here in this view, and if I use uh, uh, camera view, see the word Padani is, is focus, and if I move a camera in real time back, let's say camera, I can on the focus and off the focus. There you go. I can on the focus on the camera. That means I have a camera which is like a real camera where I can do a focusing and I can do real depth of field right inside after of that. Now, obviously the next part um, is uh, stereoscopic 3D. Everybody is trying to create stereoscopic 3D. And if you do shoot and you have an animation or a video which is only have shot using one camera and you know, you know that you need to have two cameras, what you can do is right click making it easier for the end user right click and I will say camera and uh, I can say create stereo 3d rig one click and there you go I have created a 3d rig and remember the 3d uh, stereoscopic is based on the size of the room and we have got all those settings right up here where you can get those uh, left view and the right view changed as much as you want okay so